I'm at the Banyan in the centre of Leeds, arc inspiration, supporting us again. They've been supporting the Leeds Rhinos and the players for as long as I can remember, Stevie, aren't they? And they've put on this event tonight. We're hosting the launch of Stevie Ward's Mentality magazine. Are you, not, mate, I'm nervous tonight. Are you nervous? I'm nervous, mate. I'm hoping this is the calm before the storm. Otherwise, no one's going to show up. But I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, I can't wait for him, mate. Um, what a classy place. Good people here. And, um, you know, I, I can't wait. For, I, I can't wait to physically put a... A stamp on mentality, and, and um, I just love being interviewed by you as well, Jonesy. <laughs> well, all, all the tech usually lets you down. We've got here early, we set up all the tech, everything seems to be working. But who's coming? Who, who can we expect to see tonight? Yeah, we've got a few people coming, mate. We've got we've got some Emmerdale cast, Josh Warren and Johnny Bairstow. Um, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of the guys, there's going to be like 25 Leeds Rhinos players up here. So, you know, there's some good people coming, mate, and, and some businesses from, from Leeds. and. It's a good place to start Leeds. It's it's our own mate, in it, so I'm I'm looking forward to putting a putting a, an imprint on Mantelli. I'd have preferred not to know who was coming. Now I feel sick, Stevie. <laughs> what uh, do you but uh, <laughs> just thinking about Mantelli, where do you hope it'll be in in two weeks, two months, two years two time? Two weeks. Two weeks. Um, I'll probably have a big lie down tomorrow after out organising all this. Um, two years, mate. Let's let's see. Let's see. Um, I want to do some special things with it. Uh, I want to make a difference. Um, and I want to continue going outside of my comfort zone, which is tough, mate. It's stressful, but I love doing it, and um, I'm meeting some great people. And, and um, you know, when, when you're doing stuff like this in a place like this, you know, it's um, it makes it worth it. You can't grow without getting outside of your comfort zone. Now, today when we were discussing what we were going to wear, Danny McGuire said, "You won't go in a purple suit, Jonesy." And I went home. I had a look. I couldn't find anything, so I borrowed this one off Rob Burrows. It's nipping a little bit. Uh, but the, the term purple, for me, stood out because you have come out with a phrase earlier this year, the purple elephant, uh, and just the purple cow. Yes. Let me get it right. The purple cow, just tell us. I've not heard it before. You've probably not heard it before. Just tell us what the purple cow is and how it reflects on what I'm wearing. Um, mate, do you know, so I, I hang myself seen on playing rugby, and um, when I couldn't play rugby and I couldn't make a difference on the field, I felt like I had to, I had to do something to make a difference in another way. Uh, and convert my drive and focus into something else. Um, so to see this, the way that I could help people make a difference, put a different spin on and how people see things and perceptions, that's that's what I wanted to do. And and and, and referring to the the term of purple cow, you know, it's just it's just making things stand out. You know, you know, we we've we've got to go out and and be a different thing. We've got to be a trusted platform. You know, we've got to be something what people can look at and and want to read and 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 believe it. You know, that's it. That's people have got to believe it. Um, so it's standing out and it's it's making a difference. And whether I'm on crutches or whether I'm I've got my arm in a sling, I'll try my best, mate. And where can people find out about Mantelli? You've got a website. It's mantellitymagazine.com, mate. All online. Um, we're going to take it to a next step after tonight uh, digitally. So. Everything's online now, and um, you know we're getting people involved and Leeds business involved, so it's exciting, pal. The next generation of rugby player right here. He's got the emotional intelligence, he's got the skills, he's got the looks. Check it out, mentality. calendar launch. Let's go check it out. Who's excited? I'm joined by Ryan Hall on the night of his testimonial calendar launch. Ryan, how are you feeling? Um, I'm a little bit nervous to be honest. Um, I've been on the other side of the fence quite a few times, you know, helping other testimonial uh, players out, um, getting involved in the pictures and getting involved in nights like tonight. But for me, it's a bit, a bit nervous because I'm, I really want people to enjoy it, and I'm, you know, going around making sure people, people are having a good time. Uh, it's all like down to me a little bit as well. So I'm just um, like, being like a caring horse, I think. So you've been playing with Leeds Rhinos for 10 years now. Tell me a bit about the highs and the lows of being a Leeds Rhinos rugby player. Uh, well, to tell you the highs, uh, that's the easy bit. It's um, all the medals I've won. You know, I've won quite a, quite a few on the on the journey through now. Um, I've come through a great, you know, with a great bunch of lads, and you know, they've obviously 
contributed massively more than what I have, you know, to the team, and you know that's why you know I've got so many medals on the back of it. But the, the lows, um, I think, it, I think it's you know obvious to say, like last year, like as a whole, uh, it wasn't very successful for us. So, uh, and that's fresh in the memory at the moment. So um, uh, that's probably the lowest low we've had so far. Oh dear. So in terms of your hair. So you've yeah. just played for you know England, and you always dye your hair when you play for England. Tell me why is that? Um, well, it started off the first time I dyed my hair it was uh, when my wife was pregnant, um, and I did it alongside it because um, I've always had the same mundane haircut, you know, nothing special. So I thought I'd do something different, and obviously, bleach blonde is a bit, you know, quite a bit drastically different. Um, so it just coincided. I, I was playing the international games around that time as well. Um, so then I just thought, oh, for my international appearances, I'll call this my international colours, you know, so I wear the white shirt and get the white hair. I try, I try to get it as white as possible. Um, I can't quite get it, you know, any lighter than this. Well, it looks good, and I can always spot you on the television. I'm like, that's Ryan Hall, I can see him. So this is your testimonial year, 2017. Tell us, what should we expect for this upcoming year, for your testimonial year? Um, well, hopefully... Um, Hopefully I'll get, you know, obviously a lot of support from, you know, all the people uh, around Leeds and the people I've run testimonials before and uh, I need a lot of direction from it because it's obviously my first one. Uh, I'd like to get um, a Christmas dinner in, uh, involved in there. After that, we'll, I'll have a game in, uh, you know, in my name. Um, that'll be in January time, I think. Um, and there'll be some merchandise. I'd like to get some decent mer merchandise out there. A bit unique because you don't want the old, same old stuff. So I'll try to do uh, something a little bit different. I have, I have got a bit of a thought about doing a bit of an album as well because I've always been quite musical. Um, so I might throw a bit of an album in there. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, that sounds really exciting. I'm definitely excited to hear that if you do that. So in terms of tonight, can you reveal anything about the theme or what we should expect? Um, I think re the revealing has already been done, like I was semi-naked for uh, most, of, most of the last month. Um, yeah, so I'm, I, it's my calendar, but I've tried to get as many lads in, a, 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 in as I can. Uh, but I've ended up being on eight pitches, eight of the twelve pitches, so I've kind of hogged the limelight a little bit, but I can, it's my, it's my year. Um, but yeah, I think the, the, the calendar looks really good. Uh, comparing it to other years gone by as well, I think um, it's up there with the highest quality. Ryan, good luck. Thank you so much for speaking to us and hope you enjoy your night. Cheers. Thank you. That tonight's gonna be a good night. So I'm here with Danny McGuire. Danny, thank you so much for joining us. So you've played with Ryan Hall for the last 10 years or so. How has it been watching him develop as a player? Yeah, it's interesting. Ryan's an interesting one. Uh, you know, he's probably uh, got into the, the first team and got into rugby league a little bit older than most. We normally come through the academy systems together and uh, I'm a little bit older than Ryan, so... But when he joined the first team, he's, uh, he'll be the first to admit he's, he's a bit of a strange one, a bit of a strange character, but, um, you know, he settled into the team really well and he's had a fantastic 10 years. He's represented his country, he's won lots of trophies and, you know, his testimony a year is very well deserved. So tell me your funniest memory that you have of Ryan Hall. Um, like I was saying before, Ryan's a bit of a bit of a character. He's a bit of an odd one. And uh, one day I remember him first one of the first sessions that he was at the, with the first team training, and uh, he was still on the wing, obviously where he plays now. And uh, went to throw him the ball. He, he wasn't watching uh, where we where we train at Kurt. Still, we've, we've got a train line going past, and Ryan's counting the trains and and writing down the numbers and the other trains because he's a bit of a train spot. So uh, that's one uh, one that uh, one that sticks in the memory. Sean Jones, Head of Customer Experience at Leeds Rhinos. Sean, tell me a bit about why we're here, what we've been doing tonight. Uh, so tonight we've uh, launched Ryan Hall's Testimony Calendar for 2017. It's a, uh, become a bit of a tradition now for testimonials. It was the naked calendar, so it's always a good one. For the, for the fans, the ladies and the gents, can just depend. Uh, so it's been a busy night, a uh, great night hosted by uh, Jamie Jones, Buchanan and Simo. And always just good fun for the fans. So yeah, testimonials are uh, an, an interesting one. You really do get more under the skin of the players than a, a standard uh, <laughs> club event. So Sean, you do a lot of behind the scenes for all of the boys and you're very close to them doing a lot of their testimonial events, organising things. So what kind of events are we sort of going to see in 2017 for Ryan Hall's testimonial oh. year? 
I wouldn't want to say too much right now. You've got obviously the standard ones and we know the things that work and that's one of the biggest parts. We like to provide the things that the fans want. So yeah. uh, we've obviously done the, the calendar launch. We'll have the calendar. Uh, his uh, testimonial home game. The big game this year is against the mighty Hull Kingston Rovers. Ooh. Relegated <laughs> into the championship this year, however, I think they're going to be big contenders. So that's in January 17. The great big fans night, pie and peas night, always very funny. Again, <laughs> Jamie Jones and, and Simo will pull that out of the bag. Um, and then we've got a couple of little tricks of our sleeve that we think we need to try and test. Oh, can uh, you reveal so. anything? No, no why would not. I do that? <laughs> of course no, not. It won't be any fun then. <laughs> we'll look forward to it. Thank you so much. No problem.